Welcome back to my channel. So today, because I lived for two and a half hours and didn't have time to eat, this is going to be kind of a mukbang, except it's like a school kid mukbang. So I have bread that's like just bologna, lettuce, and cheddar, and chutney. And then I have cheese twirls, summer cheese twirls, and some power see vitamin water because i need to work out later so yeah okay so today's video is basically going to be an explanation of why i for the time being have stopped drinking alcohol maybe it might turn into a long-term thing but i don't think so i think i'm going to just like hold off on it for a bit until i'm in a place of where i'm like okay shot i'm me right now and i can actually do this so i'm just gonna start at like the beginning where why the whole reason of why i started drinking alcohol to the point of where i stopped so the whole reason i started drinking alcohol was because i couldn't come to terms with the fact that i was gay and this was like i think i was about i think i was okay so i realized Okay, this is like part of my coming out story, but I realized that I was gay when I was 14. And no, I did not start drinking when I was 14. I, um, I started drinking actually like when I was about 16. Yeah, 16. It was just after my, the year after my 16th birthday. And it was due to, like also partially due to the fact of the girl that I was dating or stopped dating at that time. So I basically, at the beginning, um, I was like very, very suicidal because I went to a religious school and I don't talk about religion on this, on this channel, but I went to a religious school and we were taught that being gay is wrong and a whole lot of other BS was going on at that time. And then on top of it, um, yeah, it was too, sorry, I'm saying um so much like you. I did at the end of I came out in grade like grade seven I was about 13 it was September it was towards the end of the year and I was just about to start high school and I was extremely 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 suicidal for the past three years and then when the girl that I was dating at that time she used to think and I was very I was a good girl I was anti-weed anti-cigarettes anti anti anything literally and, okay, I'm still a bit, bit anti-cigarettes, but I'm just like chill. At the moment, I'm just chilled with it. Like, I don't give a fuck. But she used to drink a lot. And we never used to party. We literally only met once and were dating like on and off for a year. So she, like literally, like the way she described alcohol and all of this stuff and the way it helped her because she was from an abusive house. I was like, okay, let me just try this. If, it, if I like it, I'll... I'll, I don't know if I'm going to continue doing it. And if I don't like it, I'll just stop. Like, that was simple. And I'm, I found, I told my friend, and she was like, shot, I'm having a, a New Year's Eve party. You can come over to my house and we can drink them. And that's exactly what happened. So that was the first time. It was New Year's Eve 2018 that I started. That was the first time I had my first drink. It was a cup mixed with vodka, whiskey, coke. Everything that I literally had, it was in a cup, and I had two and a half cups. And my dad only, my dad said I could only stay at the party until ten o'clock. So, I, my drunk ass came walking home, like out of the car, like a zombie, like walking on a straight line. <laughs> so yeah, that's how everything started. So getting back to the reason why I stopped thinking is, in the for the past two years, I've been like not dealing with my issues. Like, I've just been shoving it to a place of where i just like keep i just keep layering and layering and layering and layering like i'll i'll drink and i'll be like okay i'm fine my girlfriend's cheat on me i'm like okay i'm gonna think i'm gonna i'm gonna be fine i get rejected think i'm fine and i got to a point now this year where i said i'm going to i just said for three weeks i'm just not gonna drink anymore because i wanted to gain muscle and someone told me i heard something i don't even think it's if it's correct or not um also that if you drink alcohol it makes your muscles weaker 
and at school so I learned that it, how it affects the nervous system so then I was like okay because I'm trying to gain muscle I'm not going to, I'm just going to stop drinking and that's exactly what I done I stopped drinking and when I stopped drinking I also realized that I was more in touch with my emotions like you know when you are drunk and you want to phone someone and you know that you shouldn't but your subconscious is like yes you should like you actually need to get this this stuff sorted out but so were you wouldn't have done it but the problem with not not the problem but the thing with me is that i don't think to a point of where i'm drunk i think to a point of where i'm tipsy and what happened in these past few weeks was i'm actually like so well like a month and like say a month and off two months almost and the thing that happened was that i have that feeling by myself that of i need to call this person and i need to sort this out because this is not good for my mental health it's to a point of where i realize i don't need alcohol for me to realize that i'm not feeling good i need to sort something i need to do something about this right now and that is why i'm just i'm taking a break for a while because i'm scared that if i i'm not scared but like alcohol sometimes changes your mindset and my mindset at the moment is to the t it's exactly where i want to be and where i feel i need to be right now even though i know alcohol will cure my loneliness the way i feel i know that right now it's just not good for me i need to focus on my school i need to focus on my school work i need to focus on getting out getting out of high school i need to focus on my body like physically getting myself in shape and that's exactly what i'm doing right now so i the like in a nutshell the whole reason why i stopped drinking alcohol is because the you know the feeling of way you alcohol makes you just not give a fuck i actually just don't give a fuck right now like if if my ex is want to message me they message me that's it we can chat we can have a conversation but i will like so believe tell you you fucked up big time and it hurt i don't need alcohol for me to do that no i don't need alcohol yes i'm still on my anxiety meds but i don't need it like i don't like i need my anxiety meds <laughs> i need that shit but i don't need alcohol to make me come out of my shell anymore and think like i will literally sit probably when i'm drunk again and hold a bottle of vodka and be like yo i'm sorry for leaving you so like leaving you so long wait let me let me use this i'm so sorry for leaving you and i hope that you understand but thank you for the good times that you've given me for all the exes that you've allowed me to call just thank you because you made me a better person you made me a stronger person and the distance between us made me grow to love you and appreciate you far more than what i ever would have expected and yes you have granted you have turned me into the person that i am today and i'm thankful for that because i believe i'm at a point of where if someone is beautiful tell them show appreciation show gratitude what is so wrong with it and if i i honestly feel if i had to be drinking right now i would have been eating so many calls up on instagram because my lonely ass be thirsty all the time and i constantly get dumb and i would have just been drinking and drinking and drinking because i would have probably been rejected so many times so yeah fuck alcohol for now i i actually did not eat any of the stuff but i will eat it and my next my next video might also be like some mukbang type of thing um it will be a get to know me better video but yeah so in a nutshell i am just done for alcohol with alcohol for the time being because i don't need it to make me feel like i don't give a shit because i actually don't give a shit and it has really brought me to a place in my life where i can actually say i don't need you to help me to realize what the fuck is wrong in my life and i don't need alcohol to sort out the issues in my life i can soberly do it by myself because i'm not a person that allows alcohol to make me fuck up my life more i actually use it to help me get better at things in my life because that's just the effect that alcohol has on me so yeah i hope 
that I did not just babble along the whole time. I probably, I just, I did, I did, I babbled the whole time in this video, but yeah. So I just hope that to everyone out there that is struggling perhaps with finding them themselves, themselves, shoot me a text. WhatsApp me, Instagram me, if you have my number, WhatsApp me. If you have me on Instagram, Instagram me. But other than that, good luck to all my tricks that are writing the mocks. We, yeah, I wrote my first mock paper on Monday and damn, I was not like, oh, hell no. So yeah, good luck to everyone that's writing my trick. Hope you guys get through it. We will survive. If I believe if you could survive 2018, you can survive 2019. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, fuck. Out. Cheers, guys. Cheers, everyone.